Hello everybody! So today I have a very long video for you and it's my August what rocked, what sucked and what has finished. I have not filmed a video like that since very long and I think since end of May or early June and then I went on vacation and usually when I'm on vacation I travel with specific things so I decided to film it now. Please let me know down below, like this video and leave me a comment if you really like this kind of video so that I should not skip them. I am... Um, so tired i am so busy lately i'm working crazy over hours and uh, it's so hot my skin is breaking out from the stress from working 15 hours a day and uh, from the heat and i cannot stand it anymore but i really wanted to share these things with you so i will start and i might talk very quickly and I hope you will enjoy the video so i'm starting with what rocked in august most of these things are things that they were favorite also the previous months but they're all still favorites in august but i have also quite a few newer stuff for this month so i'm starting with the largest category and this is hair products because after i colored the ends of my hair green i try to take care of them as much as possible i always try to take care of my hair as much as possible but now even more so i start with a color protecting thermo protector this is the suamura color luster brilliant glaze thermo milk i love this line some favorite products i have used up and show you in my empties video in the last empties video i will have all the relevant links or reviews down below i have also reviewed this line on my blog so this is a really good thermal protecting liquid cream and uh, I really really love it. It's light and uh, it uh, coats the hair and protects the color. I love it. It's a really good one. Next, everything is dropping. Next I have another Suemura product and it's a sample. So this is a cleansing sample. Usually it's not very good to use cleansing samples when you have colored hair because it really takes all the impurities and all the remaining uh, uh, hair styling products on your hair but it also makes your hair feel so clean and nice. Most of the cleansing samples are very harsh for the hair so when you have color treated hair the color fades when you use them and also they become more dry but this is the cleansing oil sample moisture balancing cleanser for dry scalp and hair and it is amazing i have used it a few times i usually use this before i apply a, a new dye on my hair so that i don't mind so much that some more color fades and I think it's really great. It doesn't have silicone, it doesn't have any parabens and I am literally in love with this. I think that for people especially that they don't have this problem worrying about the color fading, this is one of the best uh, cleansing samples. No, this is the best cleansing shampoo I have ever tried and it leaves your hair very moisturized and really soft and certainly not dried out as other cleansing samples. I really really like this one. Another sample from Kerastase, this is the Ben Après Soleil and uh, they are from the Kerastase Soleil line that is protection uh, against the sun and uh, I love this and this is for color treated hair. I used it a lot and it's really one of the best color protecting samples I have used plus it gives you uh, protection against the sun, UVs and I really am amazed by that. I, I think it's the best summer shampoo and the best product from this line is the CC cream which is um, a cream that uh, protects, uh, illuminates, preserves the color, it does so many things for hair, it smells amazing, it smells very summery. So I have talk to you about this cream on my Facebook page so once a week I have the product I'm obsessing over so my weekly obsession at some point was the Kerastase Soleil CC cream and I'm using it the whole summer and um, I will have the link of my Facebook page down below if you have Facebook you can check also these mini reviews that I do once a week sometimes they're beauty related sometimes they're not 
but usually there's stuff that I will not talk too long on my channel or on my blog about. I have two more Kerastase products. One is a mask, is a mask that I'm using lately and it's from the Chronologist Kerastase line. I have not reviewed this line on my blog now that I think about it. It's a really, really beautiful mask. It's very thick and very hydrating. It's not my favorite one. Maybe because of the scent, because I have a lot of favorite masks from Kerastase, like the Discipline wine. But uh, it's a really, really good mask if you want to try it. And it's very thick and really nice for the ends of my hair. And this is the Kerastase Resistance Serum. This is the Serum Therapist. I really like this one. I have reviewed it. I will have the link down below. I think that it's half empty. I will certainly repurchase it at some point. I don't know, I am comparing this one with a similar one that I have tried from Suemura in the past. Maybe after I finish with that I will buy again the Suemura one and I will uh, alternate them. But this is really really good for color hair and you can see, I can see the difference it makes on my hair for sure. I think that's all the hair stuff and I have some body stuff and I will start with the razor. This is this snap compact, I don't remember how it's called, razor by Venus and it's perfect for traveling and I really love it and I'm obsessed with it. And I have also shown it in my travel makeup bag video, I will have that link down below. And I have also shown this product in that video and it's from the company Rituals and it's the Honey Touch Indian Rose and Himalayan Honey. Rich and Nourishing Body Cream, this is a travel size, you can use that as a hand cream, as a whatever cream, I just want to smell like that all the time. And I, of course I bought the full size because I'm obsessed and another product that I'm obsessed from the line, I have in the past show you the scrub which was the most uh, amazing scrub ever, I have bought the full size of that too. But this is the Santi Chakra Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil, Nourishing Body Oil, I have a craziness with body oils, I want to use all the body oils in the world, I love them, especially the dry ones, this is not so dry but it smells like spa and you can use it also, I don't know, anywhere in your body, I really really love it, maybe at some point I really need to make a post review about all the body oils I'm using currently. Another cream, it's actually a gel and it's the 99% aloe soothing gel from Holika Holika. This is a lovely packaging and I was using that in my decolletage area because of this uh, sun rust that I had and uh, I didn't want to use a steroid cream all the time so this helped a lot after the shower. And I think the last body product is this from the Bomb Cosmetics and it's called TP Toes Foot Treatment. It has 30% uh, Sea Butter and also has different oils. It has peppermint and rosemary oils and sunflower oil. It melts, smells really pepperminty. I use it as a, a cream every time I shower and it's very thick and it's really, really nice. also feels very fresh and not only keeps soft your feet but it also helps you feel I don't know more relaxed and more rested when you have really troubled feet I really like this one I think we finished with the body stuff and I have some face things I have two skincare products here and they're both two masks from the company Aesop. As I said, my skin is really acting out. The long hours and the heat and the stress really doesn't work for me. That's the, the main reason whenever I have a breakout. But these are the Aesop masks. I have reviewed them. I will have the link of my blog down below. And this is the Parsley Seed um, Cleansing Mask and this is the Chamomile Concentrate Addy Blemish Mask. I love them, my skin loves them, I put them on my skin and my skin thanks me and they are amazing and I'm really like, for me, I have found two holy grail masks for sure and be sure to check the review. I think that's most of the non-makeup stuff, I have a couple more, I have uh, two products that they were sent to me 
from a Greek company. I will still sell them. I don't know. Most probably you can find similar ones from other companies. So this is a company that's called Kitten Beauty and what these are, they are ophthalmic solution with hyaluronic acid and the problem is that now with traveling and my vacation but also with working so many hours in front of a computer and then spending a lot of my free time again in front of a computer my eyes suffer so much they're always red and they are hurting I can feel my eyes hurting and not seeing clearly and I really really have found a lot of help with these ones and you can use these drops and you can also use these ocular patches that they have cryogenic action and you can when I'm really reach the point that I need to rest my eyes I just put them and then lay down for half an hour and they really really do a great work of refreshing and making me soothing the eyes making me feel better I have a perfume I think I didn't saw that in the Greek video but that's that's not the problem that's a bonus so I have a mini perfume from Jo Malone that I wear all the time I got like a package and Christmas but I think that's my favorite one and this is the blackberry and bay color it smells really I don't know I cannot describe it but I like blackberry scent and this is also a bit woody. I love it a lot. I think this is the favorite one from that uh, kit that I have tried. And uh, let's go to see some makeup stuff. Before going to the makeup stuff, I have this. This is the brush cleaning mat from Sigma. I have it for many months. I think I have not shown it, but I am obsessed. And I was not so impressed when the glove came out but this is really really good and then makeup things I have also this is a care thing I don't have a favorite nail polish for August but I have this uh, protective uh, whitening base from Essie that's called beam up and I wore it a lot this month and let's start with the foundation because I'm leaving at home at 8 o'clock or even before and I return after 10 nearly every day I wear a good coverage foundation, I, weirdly enough I'm not wearing it today, I wear the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation and I am the Sade 925 which is the lightest that I can find here in Switzerland. I really really love this foundation and if you want good coverage or if you have oily skin and you want good duration this is a very good foundation it also gives you an SPF of 20 although I always use more SPF and for concealing I'm using a tons of concealers I will just mention two this is the Radiant Cream Concealer from NARS I use it for spots not under the eyes you can use it under the eyes if you have no thin lines or if you prep the skin amazingly well but usually it if you wear it too long it will always gather in the thin lines if I do I will wear it down and not near the lines but it's really good for spot concealing and it stays put and it's very creamy I have the shade vanilla because if you got the very very fair shade and you put it in your spot then you will highlight them not cover them this is the age rewind concealer by Maybelline this is a love-hate relationship I love this and then I reach the last one third and I hate this and then it ends and I throw it away and I say I will never buy it again and then when I buy it I only want to use this under my eyes so I am obsessed uh, this is exactly a love and hate relationship with the product I have some palettes to show you so last video was a review of the Naked Smoky palette I have no a lot of things to say go check this review I use that for two weeks now and more than two weeks now I really really love this another palette that I have reviewed on my blog is um, the Tom Ford Iron Chic compact pink glow palette this is amazing the colors are great I'm getting compliments every time I wear them here on videos on Instagram in real life really people love this kind of shades and another palette that I have reviewed is the NARS, blame it on NARS palette. That is a thick palette with two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighting blush. 
I have the link down below and this is really an amazing cheek palette from Nars. The last cheek product I have is from Becca and this is the Simmering Skin Perfector Pressed. It's the Moonstone shade and I adore it. You can see the glow, like really, this thing does not exist. I love this. This is one of the glowest highlighters I have ever used and it's not the only one also like the Mary Luminizer from the Balm is really glowy but can we just like I'm amazed with the highlighter and for the end of what rocked I have some lip products so in generally what rocks all these months are liquid lipsticks. I am obsessed with matte liquid lipsticks. I love matte lips and I use the I tried the color drain ones. I will film a video. I order some few more and uh, I will do that. I'm very excited actually for a liquid lipsticks video. And this is the Sade Mars from Color Drain. Isn't this amazing? I will make a swatch of this. This is not uh, I'm not showing it from the Sade. I'm also showing it to see all the color drain uh, liquid lipsticks I try, they're amazing. Another great one is the one that I'm wearing right now and it's from uh, Bourjois and it's the Rouge Edition Velvet in shade 7. I love this, this is really great. And another one that I got so many compliments from all of you on the videos I wore it is the LUV um, how is this called? Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D that I got it and I saw it on my last collective haul also from US Sephora and this is a perfect orchid color and what I wore with it in my last naked um, smoky video review was this revolutionary lip gloss from Urban Decay I don't love lip glosses but can we just like this lip gloss is so shiny I was editing that video and I was looking at how my lips were, so I was wearing these two together, amazing. So, I think that's all what rocked in August, and I have a couple of things that sucked, and one is a liquid lipstick. So I will keep that to show it to the liquid lipstick uh, video, and then I will throw it away. It's another Rouge Edition Velvet from Bourjois. I actually remember wearing this a couple of times and being very happy with it. It's certainly not the old. But it's the Sade uh, 8 Grand Cru, but look, look, that's a beautiful winter shade. It has no pigmentation. The more you try to apply it, it becomes like that. I don't know why, but I am actually very disappointed with that. I don't know. I think that... Maybe I got a bad one, I don't know, but it doesn't smell bad or doesn't feel bad. It just feels like it's not pigmented enough as I would expect. And next I have two hair products. This is from Zwarskov and it's the Osis Plus Lamination Strong Glossy Hold Spray. So I got this mainly because I thought it would be a glossy finish spray. I have a similar one from TG Bedhead, but this is more of a hairspray. It gives a very strong hold and it makes your hair crunchy and I cannot see the glossiness in the sign so I will use it up but I cannot see I, I, I was disappointed with that and another product that I was disappointed maybe I don't know have I talked about this in the past am I really losing my mind this is uh, from uh, an old meme box and it's the shampoo plus natural waterless shampoo so this is not like a dry shampoo it's like a foam and you put it on your hair so they become wet but you don't need to take it out so supposedly this cleanses them compared to the dry shampoo that doesn't not as perfect as a actual shampoo and wash but good enough so it's something that you can use instead of washing your hair for example when you're camping or doing something like that and I thought that I will use it a couple of times to see how it works and to see if that could cut a couple of washes from my green hair to protect the color and I think I'm doing something wrong although I'm keeping all the instructions but this is not working for me so this is what sucked and let's go and see a few more empties about what has finished in this month 
So classically, I have two Einmal Waslappen douces and I always have some of these in my empties video and I also have two uh, cotton pads from Duces and from Naturaline which are the companies that I mainly use I have a Pon Pon makeup removing toilet that as I said I don't use them for makeup removing but for refreshing my face or maybe taking some bits of a mask off and I have the Zillet Simply Venus 2 razor pack I have a toothpaste and this is the Max Fresh with cooling crystals from Colgate I like this one, I will get it again a nail file that I think is really dead although that was so cute and I have a few masks here to throw this is from Daily Dewey uh, series and it's the B Venom one this is from the company Epivita and I think they are not available anymore I had a stock and this is the last one they are the Express Gold with Rose Eye Patches and they are anti-fatigue and moisturizing I love them you can see that there is a theme with the anti-fatigue moisturizing for my eyes and this one I actually used yesterday and it's the to be Nang Snail Nutrition Hydrogel Mask and I loved it and I snapchat about it I'm actually on snapchat I will have the link down below I love it I mean snapchat is really a love of mine lately and uh, this was really good and it made my skin feel really good but it also fitted really nicely because usually with the Hydrogel Mask I have a problem with fit and they always fall apart very easily Ice Whitening Bubble Pack. This is from the company Skinneralism and this is from an old meme box. I have talked about them again and again. I love them. They are gone and I will try to search them on eBay to see if I can find them since meme box doesn't ship in Europe anymore. I have my Vanilla Co Clean It Zero. I have a stock from that. I love that. I have talked about that in the past. It's brilliant. And I have another, a lot of meme box stuff. I have uh, the Secret Key Sleeping Mask. I love that and it was really cooling and refreshing and it was really great for my face. I have an eye roll on from the company L'Occitane and this is the uh, one from the Angelica line. It's really nice for uh, the morning and for the summer and it's cooling but it's not the most potent eye cream so I never use it in the evenings for example two shampoos the one is from Tony and Guy and it's from the men's line and it's a deep clean shampoo there was a bit left so I used it up before applying my hair color to um, completely empty it. I love, I love this shampoo. I have shown it in the past in favorites video. I will not purchase it now that I have the green hair but afterwards I will certainly repurchase it. I don't know why this is a men's shampoo. It smells like me. It looks really cool. I love it. And this is the Laris Directions Color Protecting Shampoo. It's from the same company that makes my um, dye, my hair dye and it's a color protecting shampoo it was good but i was not really amazed i can't see other color protecting shampoos that i use that they're nicer i have a moroccan oil uh, sample here that it's finally finished i don't know why but this didn't work for me and uh, i actually struggled to finish this up and maybe it's one of the hair oils that they had the worst effect on my hair uh, favorite uh, sour gel, this is from Kings and Queens and uh, this is a Greek company, they actually belong to Kores and this is the Aztec uh, King Vanilla Pear Sour Gel, I love it and it even has simmer in it, it's amazing Othermal Avent Trixera Plus, I'm using this since 10 years, not this bottle, I'm crazy with it, it's really good for dry skin, I have it everywhere I have one in my office or around my desk and then I use it on my hands, on my uh, elbows, on my feet, everywhere. I really, really love this. I think it's amazing. Laura Mercier Eau Gourmand Crème Pestas. I am in love. It's one of my favorite scents and it's gone and it's sad. And I will definitely repurchase this one for sure. 
maybe after I finish a couple more of my perfumes if I manage to wait that long and a few last bits of makeup Too Faced Shadow Insurance it's gone I love it a cute house brush gel I love it it's gone too I might repurchase it in the future I like the small one but I also found that Essence has this one so I will try the Essence one to see how it works have I shown that to you I don't remember but uh, maybe in a favorites video and not in an empties video I will keep it also for a f future mascaras video but this is the bottom last mascara from Clinique I love the wand and when I was using it I was like okay it's okay it's not really perfect but it's quite good and now I miss it and I struggle with bottom lash mascaras so I think I will repurchase it but leave me down below if you have comments and suggestions about bottom lash mascaras I was talking too fast but I'm sure this video is still really really long that was what rocked what sucked and what has finished in August I hope you enjoyed this video, please uh, press the thumbs up button if you liked it, subscribe for, to my channel for more videos to come and uh, we will talk next week in another video and until then uh, many many kisses, bye!